Number 15, letter A. So suppose that a person has an average heart rate of 72.0 beats per minute. How many beats does he or she have in a 2.0 uh, years? And then B would be 2.00 years and C would be 2.000 years. Okay, so first, in order to approach this problem, just remember um, the quick rules for significant figures. If you're a little confused as the rules, this is going to be a brief overview. Um, we have another video that will give you uh, a little more detail on that. So let's just say I take the value of 3.0 and I'm going to multiply that number by 2. What do we get? You might say, okay, 2 times 0 is 0, right? 3 times 2 is 6. And since I have one decimal position here, I move the decimal on over one spot, right? So it should be 6.0. Okay, let me get rid of the arrows. So it should be 6.0. Now, mathematically, you would be correct. That's the answer. But scientifically, that's not correct. So here's how we have to think about it. The number of sig figures in the first value is 2. The number of significant figures in the second value is 1. Therefore, the number of significant figures in your answer can only be 1, not 2. So the rule is this. Whichever number of significant figures is least in the numbers that you multiply together will be equal to the number of significant figures that your answer must have. So the answer needs to have only one significant figure. But at the moment, we have 2. So. Like I said, mathematically this is correct, but scientifically it's not. So what I need to do is take 6.0 and turn it into one sig fig. So just 6. That would be the scientific answer considering the correct number of significant figures. So this is the logic that we're going to need in order to approach this problem. Okay? So let's go back and see what we're given. So it says that we're going to have to, uh, we want to find out how many beats does the uh, person have in 2.0 years if they uh, have a heart rate of 72.0 beats per minute. So essentially what we need to do is take 72.0 beats, I'm going to label that as a B, per one minute, and then convert that into uh, beats per year. After we do that conversion, then what we can do is we can simply take that answer and then multiply it by the number of years. Okay, so this is essentially the outline, right? So let's take beats per minute and convert that into beats per year. So remember, I like to think about this in, in a couple of parts. I would first convert the numerator values, but I notice that the units are the same. So I don't have to worry about the, that part. Okay, so that's gonna remain the same. The denominators though, I notice that they change and it goes from minutes to years. Right, so I'm going to need to do that as my first step. Then after that, I will divide the numerator by the value of the denominator. Okay, that's going to be the second step of this problem. And then last but not least, multiplying it by the number of years would be the third step. Okay, so let's look at this in pieces. So step number one, take one minute and convert that into years. Okay, so let's write down what we're given, one minute. Minutes on the bottom. I can't put years on the top. Reason being is I don't know how many minutes there are in a year. But I do know how many minutes there are in an hour. So that might help me get to years. Right there's 60 minutes in an hour. So the minutes cancel. Now i got to get rid of the hours. So the hours go on the bottom. I still don't know how many hours there are in a year. So I guess i got to go to days, right? We do know how many hours there are in a day. 24. Now I have days, so that goes on the bottom because I have to cancel it. And I'm thinking, do I know the relationship between days and years? And we do, right? There's about 365 days in a year. All you who want to be technically correct, there's really 365.25 days, but we're keeping it simple. So now let's do the math. So it's basically uh, one divided by 60 times 24 times 365. That gives me an answer of 1.9 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, years. Okay, great. So that's the answer to the first part. Now step two, I'm just going to change the color. Just put this in gold. Make it a little more colorful. 
little happy tree over here reminds me of Bob Ross. Anyway, um, don't mind me. So step number two now will be to take the beats value. Now remember, the beats value was 72 beats. Okay, so that's the beats value, 72.0 beats per now the number of years I just calculated. So 1.9 times 10 to, the, 10 to the minus 6 years. And when I do this division, I now find the value of beats per year. So plug that into your calculator. Okay. So it should be a large number, right? That makes sense. So it's, it comes out, I'm going to round slightly. It comes out to about, looks like it's going to be 30 or 3.78 times 10 to the, let's count the decimal places, 7 times 10 to the 7 beats per year. That's per one year, right? Okay, great. Now that's the answer to the second step. And last but not least, we have now our third step, right? Our third step now, we have to then take the beats per year and multiply them by the number of years. So here's where um, we have to be considering uh, significant figures. Okay, so step three. Now, um, oh, by the way, if you look back to here, I went down to um, uh, two significant figures. Um, I could have kept it really at one. I could, it's, we're, we're, it's an exact one minute value. So I just rounded to two. You could have had three or more. It doesn't matter. As long as though your final answer here um, will have three. Technically, when I divided by the two, I should have had two significant figures in my answer, but uh, they're exact values in the denominator. Um, so it just disregard that little fact. I think the value was actually, it wouldn't have even matter because it was really a 1.90. So I'll just add that in here uh, to make it technically complete. So now I had three significant figures divided by three significant figures, and therefore my answer should have three significant figures which it does. Okay, not to get too lost here. So now let's take the beats per year, which is 3.78 times 10 to the seven beats per one year. And now let's multiply that by, the for part A, multiply that by 2.0 years. Now notice the years will cancel and that will leave me with beats. Okay, not the headphones, but the beats of a heart. So all I have to do now is multiply it together. So multiply that number by two, and we get now about seven point, right, five, six, eight, six, four hundred, right, all that. But remember, your answer cannot have more than two significant figures. Why? Because this number in the front had three significant figures, and the second number has two. Therefore, your answer can only have two significant figures. So I have to do a little rounding. So it should be 7.6 times 10 to the, should be the same exponent, 7 beats. That would be the answer to part A. That's the final answer. Now for part B, right? For part B, the only difference is now, if you go back to the problem, they're just now talking about 2.0 years. So we're even a little more accurate. So let's do the calculation here. So it'd be 3.78 times 10 to the seven beats per one year. I'm gonna multiply that now by 2.00 years. Now notice I have three significant figures in, my, in the first number, three significant figures in the second number, therefore my answer now should have three. So when we do the math, right, you don't even have to plug it in again to the calculator, you can just use the number that's there already but the number should be 7.57 now. 7.57 times 10 to the seventh beats. Okay, and last but not least now part C. All right, so part C says now, how many beats are there in 2.000 years? So let's do the math down here at the bottom. So let's take the number 3.78 times 10 to the seven beats per one year. And now let's multiply that by 2.000 years. Notice the years cancel, leaving me with beats. So that works out. Now, make sure you go back and analyze the number of sig figs. This number has three. This number has four. 
Therefore, my answer can only have three. So guess what? It's actually going to be the same value as letter B. 7.57 times 10 to the seventh beats. And that would be the final answer for C. Remember, guys, if this helps you out at all, please do subscribe. Thank you.